I think in my particular case, I, I laugh a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it is, uh, uh, you know, there are, I think stress, you can be, uh, I think one of the things that's very important to note about stress is that stress primarily comes from not taking action over something that you can have some control over. So if I find that some particular thing is causing me to have stress, that's a, uh, a, a warning flag for me. What it means is there's something that I haven't completely identified perhaps in my conscious mind that is bothering me and I haven't yet taken any action on it. I find as soon as I identify it and make the first phone call or send off the first email message or whatever it is that we're gonna do to start to address that situation, even if it's not solved, the mere fact that we're addressing it dramatically reduces any stress that might come from it. So stress comes from ignoring things that you shouldn't be ignoring, um, I think in large part. So uh, stress doesn't come, people get stress uh, uh, wrong all the time, in my opinion. Stress doesn't come from hard work, for example. You know, you can be working incredibly hard and loving it, and likewise, you can be out of work and incredibly stressed over that. So, and likewise, if you kind of use, the, you know, use that as an analogy for what I was just talking about, if you're out of work, but you're going through you know, a disciplined uh, approach of you know, a series of job interviews and so on and working to remedy that situation, you're going to be a lot less stressed than if you're just worrying about it and doing nothing.